So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of our Portsmouth Crew Road on the PS4 Fever 15 and we're going to be kicking off this episode with a home game up against Cheltenham Town. So Cheltenham is very very close to where I used to live in England so basically it is like basically my side in the lower divisions because I pretty much lived right next door to um, Cheltenham but that isn't going to stop me from going out and beating them as I really do hope we can bring the three points back and put them back onto the league table and hopefully try and push us up and get or maintain ourselves at the top of the league as I know we are at the top at the moment we're not first but we're um, second or third um, but we do want to maintain uh, ourselves at the top but the squad we're going to be rocking we're going to be uh, it's pretty much going to be rocking uh, West Car up front as well for this game but um, they get the first chance here Hall comes through they play a good ball through but thankfully they only hit the post it's pretty much open goal and actually they like faints in frustration but from uh, we do actually then manage to clear the ball it comes to um, Hollands in the midfield Hollands does get tackled but Azo picks up the ball it comes to Barcham Barcham plays a lovely ball over the top to West Car West Car does very hard to actually get the ball he has a good shot but unfortunately he does hit the outside of the post and the ball does end up going out for a goal kick so we're very, very unfortunate there as um, they only scored at one end then we only scored at the other but um, Holmes this time was through he was getting a rare start for us here he does put a lovely ball in the box it comes across it comes to Wallace Wallace hits it first time but it was a fantastic save from the goalkeeper to tip it onto the crossbar which then went out for a corner Flames right in corner Wallace puts the ball in the box it comes to West Car. we do try and get up but unfortunately the ball does go out but they do actually manage to keep the ball in it comes to Barcham Barcham loses the ball he then regains it it comes to a Zogue but um, unfortunately for them they do get an injury, but in the 45th minute, Westcar picks up the ball, he plays the ball to Bartram, Bartram plays it to Azog, Azog skips past his man, he goes through, he has a shot, and it was awful, awful goalkeeper in there, it went straight through the legs of the Cheltenham goalkeeper, and Azog picks up his first goal for us, and I was very, very pleased, as he'd been playing really well um, for us, and he is pretty much one of our highest rated players as well, the one that we picked up for the cheapest we didn't. He's three fouls on the wages, and he was a free agent. And we picked him up, and he is an absolute beast. To be honest, he's playing really, really well. And I really do hope we can uh, maintain his form, uh, and that way he will uh, be playing instead of Zalalem, um, because obviously done. Now we've got Zalalem, um, Jones, and Azog. Azog is pretty much Azog and Zalalem are the two. Ones I'm not sure about whether they're first or second team players. Um, Dunn was actually pushed down the list a little bit, but Dunn will be on the bench a few times and be playing in the cup games and the not so important games. Uh, actually, their Jeb Wallace does actually get a man in match. Actually, they're like uh, Ertu did come on in that game just to, uh, to give our players a rest. So they're always good to have players like Dunn, Ertu, Watmore, um, Webster, players like them that are really good to come. West Car, for example. They are the players that we like to have in the squad as they are good for us as we can bring them on in the second half to actually uh, ease the pressure. And um, the good thing as well, they don't actually weaken the squad that much. Uh, Lawson is the only player that I'm a little bit disappointed of the signing we made. We did pay 110000 from Sunderland and he's only 55 rated. So that was the uh, most disappointed signing of the summer. Uh, but... Um, I, to be honest, I thought we did do very well throughout the summer. But um, the player that's going to be starting for us is our new uh, centre attacking mid, um, Bagluli. I know he has played before, but um, the camera's running once again because he's played well in the opening games. He hasn't actually scored a goal yet, but um, he has been playing very, very well and uh, set up a few goals, which is always good to see. And that is uh, what we want to see from our centre attacking mid. And actually, their Jeb Wallace has shown him because Jeb Wallace has been in terrific form of late and um, by far our best uh, performing player. But so uh, we do do it very well here. Bartram picks up the ball. He runs at the defence. He plays the ball through. It comes to Bagluli. He plays the ball through to Loza. Loza here uh, does very well. Has a sh uh, plays the ball back to Baluli. He does jump, which was very, very realistic, to be honest. The jump was very realistic, but unfortunately, his header just goes wide of the post, and he still can't pick up his first goal for us. But Baluli here, once again, was through. This time, his left foot, he manages to hit the post, and the goalkeeper manages to pick up the ball. So, once again, big very very unlucky but this time Loza picks up the ball has a good shot but once again the Exeter goalkeeper was lucky but this time he did actually make a good save from the right in corner Wallace whips the ball in the box comes to Loza Loza gets his head on it and this time the Exeter goalkeeper could not keep it out and we were now 1-0 up and the only person that could ever score was going to be Loza the £60,000 man which I believe he is definitely going to be the cult hero of the series is an absolute beast to be honest I really do like him he's been playing really well and that's why he's been getting first team football all the time because he's scoring goals like that I know the goalkeeper should have saved that it did go in between his legs from the header but still he's been playing extremely well and um, I'm very pleased that we did pick him up and the, by far our cheapest and uh, best uh, 
performing player at the moment. But Bartram does very runs on the wing, plays the ball in the box, comes to Loza, and once again, Loza with a wonderful volley there. First time, slots it past six to goalkeeper, and Loza within the space of five minutes picks up two goals, one with his head, and this time a lovely, lovely strike there with his right foot. And I could not believe this when I went in because they normally blast it over the bar, but it was a wonderful. Uh, um, pretty much directed shot into the far corner leaving the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever he done very well to adjust his feet there and the goalkeeper would get nowhere near that one as he slots it into the bottom corner of the net and I was so pleased that we had managed to get a, a good a cushion between the two sides here and um, in the second half we were going to be bringing on a few new players but um, Saar picks up the ball here plays the ball to Christensen who's just come back from injury we play the ball to Bagloli he plays a wonderful ball through to Loza Loza was through one on one and Loza once again picks up his hat trick and I believe that is his second hat trick so far in the series may even be his third I'm sure you guys know because you're good at the statistics kind of thing. But um, I'm sure that's either his second or his third hat-trick of the series so far. And he is just the man in form. He is just incredible. And actually, they does very well there, bringing the goalkeeper out. He has a shot and it puts it right into the far corner. Let even the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever to get near that one. And uh, thankfully, we were now 3-0 up and loads up with the three goals, uh, which was very, very pleasing. But um, here we do actually pick up the ball. Christensen plays the ball through. Unfortunately, we do lose it. They play the ball over the top. They do get a good chance, but thankfully, our goalkeeper does come out and Jones makes a good save. We do then win the ball from Manir. Baglulu picks up the ball. He plays the ball to um, Loza. Loza plays the ball for Zalalem. Zalalem here plays the ball back to Loza. Loza is one on one. Can he score? He takes the ball around the goalkeeper and slots the ball into the back of the net. So within 75 minutes, Loza had picked up our four goals and we would beat an X to 4 0 away from home, which is by far our best result so far of the series and Loza's best performance as well playing absolutely incredible he just shows the composure there to actually take it around the goalkeeper the goalkeeper didn't commit himself and he still had the work to do to actually get it in from the tight angle of course Loza wasn't going to miss from there so Jamal Loza 10 goals in the Football League 2 which is some great achievement and that was actually how the game finished we ended up winning a 4-0 away from home against Exeter as you see there Loza does pick up man of the match rating and a 9.9 .9. and as you can see there we did also bring on Fodgton, Westcott and what more? What more? He's saying, why on earth we put him in centre defensive mid? The reason why we put him there is because I thought I should actually try him at centre defensive mid because you guys have been saying he has got quite good potential and he's been playing pretty well for Portsmouth. So therefore, I thought, all right, I'm going to try him at centre defensive mid. He, to be honest, he done all right. There was nothing wrong with his performance, but um, he's still not up to the same quality as Azog and um, Zalalem at the moment. But here we are facing by far our toughest test of the series so far. We're going to be playing against uh, Reading. And Reading are, as you know, a championship side. So it's going to be a very difficult uh, game for us. But hopefully, I really do hope we can try and uh, give them a run for their money. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not expecting to win because I know how hard this game is going to be. But um, I normally do really well in the hard games because I tend to put more effort in. But actually, their Watmore is actually starting this game. We actually started him at right back this time because Christensen's uh, fitness wasn't the best. Story is also playing as is Fodgden, so um, and Bartram is rocking the centre attack in mid role. So we're moving Bartram into a different uh, role here just to see if we can go and try and get him to improve his um, his performances. To be honest, because he hasn't been playing too good. But actually, they Rod Redden have got a really good squad. They have got Robson, Carnu, they got Jamie Mackey, they got Williams, Karasham, Pierce. Anton Ferdinand, Gunter, Abita, Federici, and Abita is by far my favourite player from Reading, and I think we're going to try and assign Abita in the up and coming seasons. But we do actually get the first chance here. The ball comes to Azog. Azog plays the ball to Story. Story plays the ball back to Azog. Azog actually does very well to deep assess the player. He has a good shot, but unfortunately his shot was well, it wasn't really a good shot. It was he pretty much scuffed his shot, and um, I think all the stars lit up in front of him. I think he should have actually hit the target there and made Federici work, but um, unfortunately he couldn't. But we're there. We're just showing that look we are not going to step down and we're not going to let you play football as you like it if you're going to win you're going to have to win the hard way but Loza comes through has a good shot but unfortunately his shot just goes wide the post and Loza once again nearly picks up the goal which actually wins us the game or actually and puts us 1-0 up in, in um, the first half of the game but um, unfortunately that wasn't to be and the next chance once again did actually fall um, to uh, them actually and they play the ball through to Jamie Mackey Jamie Mackey skips inside past Watmore he plays the ball across and it was an absolutely delightful save from Paul Jones and he manages to get up quickly to deny them from scoring from the header but um, the next chance this time did actually fall to us um, I believe it falls to us uh, yes we do depossess the ball it comes to Story Story does very well plays the ball over the top to Bartram Bartram with a lovely lovely control and slots it into the back of the net so Bartram picks up his first goal for Portsmouth 
And it looks like Bartram's role could be the centre attacking mid role. He's played pretty well in this game, and here he scores a wonderful goal. There it was a lovely, lovely ball over the top by Zog. Uh, it was a lovely control as well. Uh, sorry, sorry, he played the ball over the top. It was lovely control of his chest. Federici come out. He couldn't get there, and he does very well with his left foot to find the near post and slot it past Federici. I thought Federici should have actually saved that, but. Um, I think he was trying to, uh, thought Bartram was going to go a little bit higher and not uh, roll it in. But uh, once again, I was very pleased with that. But unfortunately for us, pretty much straight after we scored, they do pick up the ball. It comes to uh, Beta. Uh, Beta does very well. He plays an absolutely delightful ball over the top to Robson Carner. Robson Carner on the volley beats Paul Jones. Paul Jones wasn't he hadn't set himself ready for, to dive. And they were back on level terms. So within two minutes, um, they were back on level terms. So I actually thought he was offside, but then you actually see there from the replay, Watmore was actually playing him on. Uh, Chorley, sorry, Chorley was playing him on. But we wasn't going to give up, and uh, we did actually make substitutions. The substitutions we did actually end up making, we decided to bring uh, Holmes, I believe we did actually bring on uh, for uh, Wallace. Wallace obviously did come off. We decided to put Bartram up front. Loza we do take off uh, for um, Hollands. So we're just going to see if we can actually um, get... Uh, maybe if we can just get the replay and go to them play, their place which would be a very good result as well if we get a replay but um, pretty much straight after that Story picks up the ball it comes to Loza Loza plays a lovely ball out wide to Wallace Wallace was pretty much through he come, cuts inside past Pierce he shoots with his left foot but unfortunately it was a quite a comfortable save for um, Federici and they do manage to kill the ball. But in the 83rd minute, the substitution still hadn't been made. Uh, Forston picks up the ball. He plays a lovely ball through. He actually keeps running. This time he plays a ball through to Loza. Loza cuts back inside on his left foot, shoots. And once again, when will this guy stop scoring? He just scores for fun. He is just an absolutely beautiful beautiful player to play with and um, if you guys are starting a career mode with any uh, team in a low division or maybe even starting with a team in quite a high division I really do recommend you, you sign Jamar Loza he's a free agent he only costs 2,000 or maybe even 3,000 on the wage budget but that is nothing and he's a 59 rated I've already got him up to 60 rated he is playing some beautiful football scoring some beautiful goals and I'm so pleased that he is actually doing so well with us but um, the last chance does fall to us. Bartram picks up the ball. We play the ball to Story. Story is through one on one with Federici. Can Story score? But no, I think his legs started to tremble and he slots the ball over the top of the crossbar. But thankfully, we progressed in the Capital One Cup. So I was extremely pleased that we managed to do this. We beat Reading, our toughest task of the series so far, and we'd stepped up to the plate and performed. So we're now actually going to be approaching the end of this episode. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you leave a like as it is very, very much appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter to keep up with all the latest news and updates. And um, pretty much that's it. Another episode will probably or hopefully be up uh, tomorrow evening or tomorrow, which um, hopefully uh, you guys will watch. And if you do, please go ahead and watch the new uh, episode as it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.